Dear Yuba and Sutter community, today is Wednesday, July 8, 2020. Tomorrow, July 9, 2020, Sutter County will be listed on the state county monitoring list. Yuba County will be listed on the county monitoring list as of July 11th. The two-day gap is because of data lagging. Essentially, that's all it is. As you know, when a county has been listed on the county monitoring list for three consecutive days, the state would like that specific county to close all bars, pubs, brew pubs, and breweries, both indoors and outdoors. They would also like indoor services to be closed for restaurants, card rooms, family entertainment center, movie theaters, zoos, museums wineries and tasting rooms. This is a significant change for the community. How did we even get here? I thought we were doing so well. It's going to be the questions that runs through a lot of community members' mind. We were doing well. We were doing well just two months ago to the point where I say we can cautiously with appropriate modification and strict adherence to the tenets that we all know, social distancing, wearing facial covering when you cannot maintain social distancing, staying at home when ill, limiting gatherings, and also good hand hygiene. Unfortunately, the community became too lax, too complacent. We were overly confident that we crushed COVID-19. We never crushed it. We only flattened the curve, but the curve never went fully away. And now it's roaring back with exponential growth in terms of new cases every day. We're now averaging 30 new cases per day. We're stressing out our hospital system, our clinics. We can still fix this. We can flatten the curve, but it requires the concerted effort of everyone in the community. We need you to take personal responsibility for your community, for our community, by doing what you need to do now so that in a few weeks, we can be taken off of the county monitoring list for both Yuba and Sutter, so that this will be a short interval closure for the sectors affected, and we can gingerly step back out into a opening again. It's always gonna be this dance, two steps forward, one step back, if we see worsening of the situation so that our fragile healthcare system is not decimated and doesn't go into crisis. And this dance will continue until we have a vaccine so that we have a safe way of approaching herd immunity. Yes, we can have herd immunity to just a barrage of infections, but then that comes with it hospitalizations and deaths. That is not a safe way to do it. The safest way is through a vaccine. Thank you.